So hopefully I've put a stop to the deer getting into my garden spot. I don't know what I'm going to do about keeping them away from this hosta, except for maybe some hot pepper next year. But the echinacea started blooming out, and the black eyed Susans starting to show their black eyes. Our giant white lilies started popping out. Really got a lot of blooms on them this year. Kind of happy with that. The Asiatic lilies and then the calla lilies all coming up in different colors. Lovey worked hard on cleaning this bed out this weekend. She worked on this bed as well and the giant red emperor lilies are popping open and oh they're massive really pretty and more to come columbines have all but bloomed and the asiatic lilies are coming up around here too some more red lilies a couple of giant sunflowers and some zinnias all popping up getting tall i find fountain dribbling and these yellow petunias have been a pleasant surprise they're really pretty we're liking those a lot our uh, lettuce leaf basil I brought up front we're gonna try and see if we can transplant some of it into a different pot so we can have a, some up front here and we're cooking we can just grab it the marigolds that we started from seed are starting to come up always love it when we start things from seed and they start blooming starting to get blooms on this tomato. Let's see how we're doing with the tomatoes here. Look! We got some tomatoes. And all the new blackberry starts. Kind of nice to see some berries forming on this new plant here. This is all new growth. Kind of have a few. Starting to turn a little. A little bit red. The ear don't even. And then the raspberries. They're looking kind of nice as well. No fruit yet, but I'm happy to see some blooms starting to form on this mammoth jalapeno. And the garlic. Looks like the elephant garlic's starting to turn. Once those leaves drop and turn brown, I'm pulling those bad boys. Let's see sweet peppers that we got from the Amish they're starting to produce I'll be curious to see what color they turn but I'd kind of had enough of the deer getting in on my garden spot and so over the weekend I found some really high tensile strength mesh I stretched it up on these seven foot poles and I got some motion detecting lights. So hopefully everything will keep out. But some of the heirloom seeds I just started. These were jade, Chinese jade cucumbers. They're supposed to be the long slender type. And these are supposed to be Armenians. These are burpees and they're starting to be good. Climbing around. I'm hoping to train them up this trellis. But these are called Ford hooks. And they're gonna be a pickling cucumber. I've been told that, uh, boy, once you get to picking on those, you really have to keep going or you're gonna be sorry. Looks like my green beans are starting to climb, 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 look at that, all the way up. Cool. Those corn transplants, they're hanging in there. Um, they didn't like being transplanted. I've tried to keep them moist, but you can tell the difference, right? This corn's going to be good. Lots of it. Hope I'll have a lot of sweet corn. But here's more peppers. Those are Anaheim's. Let's see what we've got here. Anything? No. 
that's going to be a red pepper there. And I don't see anything on these guys yet. They're stuck. Come on. Men. <laughs> They don't call us the Drunken Gardener channel for nothing. Yes, folks, some of those are zinnias that I thought were green bean plants that I transplanted. I put some more seed in there, but my flat Italian green beans don't appear to be coming up very well amongst the flowers. <laughs> but we'll see. I did get a few more seeds in the ground, and I'm gonna try and see what happens with these. These are called big kahunas and Kalimas. Hopefully they'll do something. But the okra is starting to get up big. Hopefully the deer will stay out and not move them all up this year. This Anaheim pepper is doing real well. Almost ready to pick. The onion bed, it's full. Red, white, yellow, and sweet onions. And then, let's see, tomatoes. Oh look, lots of little cherry tomatoes. Let's see if we've got any aromas. Yeah, aromas are starting. This one's a jet star. Got blooms too. And this German Johnson, I'm wishing I would have bought two of these. I can't believe how big this plant has grown so fast. Loaded with blooms. And some babies. Super fantastic. Got some nice looking tomatoes on there. I don't know. Sometimes I like to pull those when they're that low, but uh, the soil's pretty nutrient rich, so I'm just gonna let her rip on this one. Then let's see here. Lemon boys. And another lemon boy. Anything? Soon. Better? Boy. Is it better? I don't know, boy. It might be better. Early girl. Supposedly, these are supposed to have the first harvest, but uh, come on, really? Girls being early? I don't know. And then, my all-time favorite, the good old Arkansas Traveler. I just like the size of these fruit. They have a nice color. And really tasty tomatoes. <gasps> Look. What are you doing, Mooch? Garden the garden. Keep the deer out. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. If you don't, I don't give a shit. I just do it for my drinking buddies.